Hi. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? I'm still uh, trying to work out, um, where should I look? There, there, or there? Anyways, you know I like to do these uh, raw and uncut. Um, yeah, man, I'm coming at you today with another um, with a video, another sneaker video, of course. Positive sneaker videos. That's what I'm about. Um, now, when you catch me in the lives, that's my uh, that's my uh, Jekyll, Doctor and Jekyll, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde action. So this is the positive part. We all have two sides, so it's all good. Um, anyways, I want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed, that's commenting, that's liking. I fucking love you, man. I fucking love you guys, man. You guys are. You guys are the rock stars, man. You guys are the real MVPs. I appreciate every single one of you guys, man. I really mean that. Um, this is your channel as much as it is mine. Suggestions, comments, I'll get to them. Boom. You know? Anyways, um, today I'm coming at you with a, like a collection little video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick anything up. Um, really, the only thing I was going hard after, and I still am, I'm going to have to pay the resale on it, was the... Kentucky Dunks, man. Missed out on those. Uh, entered some draws. Came up short. Everybody wants them now. Just like everybody wants the Syracuse's now. That's all good. Um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pay the resale. Um, I haven't seen any local shops with them. And, um, well, it's kind of hard to get out there. Most of the shops are closed due to the Roni. Uh, the Rona. The Roni. My, 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 my Roni. Whatever you want to freaking call it man um yeah so let's get into this man there's gonna be some uh, information given to you guys today i'm gonna do uh two shoes um both collabs one with the boutique and one with the iconic fixture in the sneaker game uh, a latino iconic fixture in the game don't get it twisted latinos have a big influence in hip-hop and were there since day one at ground zero you know what I mean? Latinos are a fixture in the sneaker community and hip hop. Okay, big influencer. Um, anyways, let's get right into the first one. I'm gonna show you the box. Let's see. It's gonna. Yeah, man. I need to get a I need to get an upgraded chair soon. I'm uh, taking donations for a chair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, but I'm gonna get me a new chair soon. Anyways, this one's a. On its last leg, rode this thing till the wheels fall off. That Reebok, that classic R right there, man. Reebok classic collab. Let's see if you guys, uh, every time, man. You know, there was a while when I was on my suede, I, on my suede toe, I still love suede shoes, suede toe hype. Um, I was buying tons of suede toe shoes, Reeboks, Asics, uh, Pumas. Um, yeah, man, I was on, I'm, I still got a few. I'm going to share those with you. Uh, a lot of them I got rid of. I had the Puma, man. The ones I kind of regret right now uh, was the, the Coda Armor uh, Puma disc. Those had that teal and they had that, um, um, that salmon color, man. I got rid of those. I just didn't like the, the, um, the disc action on it. I bought those online. That's why I rarely buy shoes online now, unless, you know, I know exactly what it is. Um, but I didn't really like the, the the little disc part to tighten up the shoes. I got rid of those. Uh, kind of regretting. It was a nice shoe. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get back into this thing. Look at that. Anybody know? Anybody know? That rough suede in the back. And then you got that smooth suede right here in the front. Super soft, super nice. Oh man, did that get kind of weird? Pause on that. Um, that mustard, gotta have the mustard on the hot dog. And then you got that bead. You guys know what that bead is? Represents? No, no freaking puddles. It doesn't represent blood gang. That Reebok Bodega collab. Look at that. This is like a fine new buck, some kind of maybe synthetic. I don't know. It feels like new buck, but it could be wrong. It could be a synthetic. If anybody knows or if anybody had these, let me know. I think it's a new buck. I'm, I'm saying new buck. Then you got this uh, canvas, like ballistic. I don't know if they call it canvas, ballistic. I think it's a canvas. 
that camo. I mean, this shoe is loud, but I mean, quality wise, like, I mean, it's up there. They didn't, uh, they didn't slack when it came to the quality. And then you got this right here, like that Gucci out of nowhere for some reason. And then you got stingers. Don't get stung. Don't say shit. Cause you might get stung. Police might show up at your door. Look at that. Yeah, man. Oh, this one has that, uh, the other one has a sticker in there. Let me see. There we go. Look at that. Let's get in there. Yeah, man. Super nice shoe right here. I've only worn this once for a few hours. I'm kind of scared of it, man. It's super nice, man. But I need to bust them out. They are definitely an eye catcher. Those blue laces make it pop. I don't. I think it only came with one set of laces. Yeah, it only came with blue laces. But uh, yeah, man. Let me know what you think. Is it um, thumbs up, thumb down? Is it a puke emoji? Is it the um, the brains blown emoji or what? Mess with it or nah? All right. Yeah, that's that Reebok uh, Bodega collab had these for a while man these are these are old shoes anyways uh let's check my uh liquor store hat out i mean you ain't a real one if you don't got a liquor store hat everybody's got a liquor store hat or a liquor store beanie in their collection there it is man represent all right man the next shoe super super iconic shoe every real og sneakerhead has a pair in their collection, guarantee. Um, this shoe uh, is kind of making a comeback, man. They're, they're kind of doing like, looks like they're doing the chunky high-end kind of uh, style. Um, there's been a recent collaborator on this shoe um, that people have done some reviews on. Um, but yeah, man, let's get into this thing right here, that Puma box. I think it was J. Cole that just did a collab. I seen them, I like them, but... I'm not really a fan of white shoes unless it's a, a Air Force One, all white Air Force One low. Gotta have those. What do they call them? Uptowns. Gotta have a pair of those. But um, yeah, let's see. The name is on there, man. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to see if you, uh, you guys might not even know the people that are watching this. Hopefully, they know that name right there. Iconic name. Some people might not know. Some will know. Let's check that out. Babito. Anybody know who Bobito Garcia is? Legend, Latino legend in the game. Legend. So when I say Latinos have a heavy influence in the hip hop and sneaker culture, let's debate about that. Leave a comment, let me know. I've heard uh, some uh, famous people say uh, Latinos don't have a place or something to that extent. Not, don't quote me on that, but like it's, um, you know, it's not their place to be in the hip hip hop but that's just a young f boy not uh knowing his position and speaking out of turn just keep doing music all right keep wearing those blouses and keep doing music that uh that migo dude whatever migo we got right here look at that that puma suede high lows and highs of the puma suede man it's like both super fire you gotta have them if you're a, a true sneaker head OG sneakerhead. What are the young guys wearing today? Ones? That's their, that's their thing. They gotta have the ones or some Yeezys. I mean, what do you gotta have? You got if you're a real OG sneakerhead, you gotta have this. The young guys, I don't know what they gotta have. Where'd you get those? We all know that. Is that olive? It's like two different colors. It's like a gray right here, more of a gray, and then that swoosh is like an olive right there. I don't know if it's maybe making it look the same the way my whack ass camera phone but uh this is more like a gray right here and this is definitely olive and then you got that chocolate that chocolate right there man super fire and uh yeah man overall and then you got a little bit of leather right there a hit of leather the tongue looks like it's leather but it's just like a thin suede the tongue is really really thin right here and then you just got a regular material right here you know um nylon or something some 
they look like wax laces, but they're not heavy wax. If anything, they're just like a light wax on that. The other shoe, I really didn't get into the bottom, but you guys know, I don't got to explain gum bottoms. Super fire gum bottoms on the that Reebok. But this one just has like, it's not really a pure white. It's kind of like a creamy. Let me know what you guys think of these. Do you guys have any Pumas in your collection? The classic black with the white stripe. Those go hard. Those never, you can wear those anywhere. Anywhere. These are still DS. I haven't gotten the courage to wear these. I don't know. You know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna wear them, man? I mean, any suggestions? Shorts? Khakis? No, just kidding. But yeah, man, I really like these. Uh, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Where'd you get those? And do we know who Bobito is? Do we know who he is? Iconic, jack of all trades, DJ, um, DJ radio host, um, international baller, street ball legend, um, in video games, uh, had his own magazine at one point. I suggest you guys go watch Rock Rubber 45s. And the thing's been out for a while, but it's still very interesting to watch, uh, to know who he is and the heavy influence that Latinos have had in hip hop and sneaker culture. Um, so yeah, man, do yourself a favor and go uh, watch that. Very interesting. Everybody got time now, right? For the next couple weeks, everybody's gonna have plenty of time. Um, so yeah, man, I just wanted to share a little bit of my collection with you guys, drop a little bit of knowledge, and um, I'm gonna end this video like I ended it last time. I love all you guys. Appreciate it. Comment, good or bad. Let me know. Suggestions. I'll get to them. Um, but yeah, love those who love you, but don't let that love fuck up your vision.